Hello, hello. Um, so I'm just waiting for my sis to join. This is sister sessions. We're back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, during lockdown, we did Sunday sister sessions and something called shits and gigs, which was literally just um, a chat with my sis. So I'm a reflexologist, skincare specialist, and all about health and well-being. My sister's a Reiki practitioner, and uh, she's also a singer, um, burlesque teacher, uh, dance teacher, and we cover topics that are real that people don't necessarily all, all talk about that much, that should be talked about, and we have a bit of a laugh and a giggle. Um, we're a little bit crazy, so um, for a Monday morning, uh, maybe it's not the right thing, but um, when lockdown eased, hey sis, she's here. Let's add her in. When lockdown eased, um, can you request to join sis? Yeah, lovely. So doing them because we were so quite busy and um, we've decided to do them again because people wanted them and were asking. When... Yay! All Hi. right, let me move my camera. Yeah, to come down a bit. Yeah. Hello. Hi sis, you look you? gorgeous. So do you. Bye. Oh, thanks. You've got ah! really nice weather. Oh, I've dropped my uh, earphone. The weather You've is You've got really lush. nice weather. We've got torrential rain. We had torrential rain and now it's cleared up and we've got gorgeous sunshine. Oh, I love right. Honestly, I just, yeah. Aww. How are you doing? I heard what you were saying. I love it. You're like a little bit crazy, maybe too crazy for a Monday. Maybe <laughs> it's not the right time. I love you. <laughs> well, we're trying to blow away those Monday blues. Absolutely, we are. Yeah. Also talking about real stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like real life and feelings and stuff. Yeah. I love talking about feelings. One of my friends has joined, Theatre Man, and he, ah. he, he laughs at me about how I love talking about feelings. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can't we just like watch a quiz? I'm like, no, I want to watch something about feelings. <laughs> love He's it. an intellect, you see. <laughs> ah, I see, I see, I see. Yes. So, so today's um, theme. Oh, yeah, he's writing so cool. many feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about the feels, Joe. I'm all about the feels. <laughs> Love it. So, Jen, today yes. we are talking about like a what? <laughs> Sorry, no. I, I was yeah. I I was trying to write a title for this for oh. anyone coming to join in, but I don't know how to do it. It's a, oh. it's a relatively new thing, isn't it? It's Anywho. changed. Yeah. Uh, yes, so today we are talking about work-life balance. And yes. It doesn't have to be work-life balance, but it's more life balance. Yeah, Because not exactly. everyone's working. And no, exactly. So it doesn't just have to be about how you about juggle. Work. No, it's just, sorry, I'm having issues with my thingy. How you juggle, like, all the things life. that you've got to do in life, basically, your to-do yeah. lists. And, and also, because lockdown's easing and things are starting to go back to normal... I think yeah, everyone is just like feeling absolutely exhausted. <laughs> yeah, everyone I speak to, all my clients, I'm for reflexology. All I'm dealing with is overwhelm, anxiety, yes. tired, insomnia, tired. Yes. restless sleep. Yeah, un unrefre uh, unrefreshing, refreshing sleep. sleep. Yeah, and just feeling like I want to get off the carousel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, can we take a break? It's too much. <laughs> I mean, I think it's now the time we need to start the petition. Let's have a four-day working week. <laughs> and and also, three-day weekend. Hey, Dana! <laughs> hey, Dana, we've got our usuals back. This is so lush. This is nice. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm going to have to handhold this. That's all right. Um, yeah, and also, one thing that surprised me is how many businesses yes. are pushing for people to go back full-time in the office. Oh, really? I thought, yeah, in London, oh. certainly. I oh, thought that's it they've was got gonna such be extortionate rent. <laughs> they need to justify it. Oh, they, they need to turn for... those offices into houses. Yeah, I know. They probably they've all got long leases. I've heard like loads of rental yeah. agreements that go on for years. Mm. Mm -hmm. Go on, mm -hmm. yes. But anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so I, I was just saying, I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. Okay, we've realised that we can actually do this, and things are going to change. But they seem to be going back to. How it was oh, back before. to how it was before. You see, I've had the other experience where companies are just thinking a bit more about their staff and allowing people to work from home and allowing people to be part time and kind of adjusting the way that they work with staff, which I think is really nice. Yeah. So that's, that's really interesting nice. that I've got a different perception to you uh, of, of work. I and my boss a... isn't 
my boss isn't doing it. She's a cow. <laughs> She's making me work all the time. That's you, isn't it? You're your own boss. <laughs> I have chats with myself. Can I have today off? No, you can't. No, you can't. Why? <laughs> you need to work. You're such a monkey. <laughs> well, we need to talk about this, don't we? Because I've also been feeling it where we've got loads of... Thank you, Dana. Yes, the weather is gorgeous here. It is lush. Don't worry. I think the sun's going to hit you soon. We had horrible weather too this morning. But um, it's like when you're super, super busy, how do you cope with being busy and still keeping your like inner peace, keeping your equilibrium, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that can be quite tricky. And what I found is when I get into like a really busy, stressful period, my autopilot goes on and she's like, like your boss. She's like, right, militant. We're going to yeah. do all of these things and we're going to achieve it. And we're yeah. not going to, like, we don't lose. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No whimpering. <laughs> Get on with it. That's it. Massive to-do list. We're going to get up early. I don't care if you're tired. Have an extra coffee. It is like that. And <laughs> I start to feel like I started to completely win at life in terms of my to-do list. I was smashing it. Everything was on. But I felt like a machine. Yeah. And I felt numb. And I wasn't enjoying anything. I wasn't getting any satisfaction out of smashing yeah. this to-do list. Apart from that feeling of achieving which yeah. actually is a quite a shallow feeling. I wasn't actually feeling connected or happy Fulfilled. or no. Yeah. And, um, and this woman, she drew a card. We were, I was at this meditation workshop and we had to draw a card for each other and, and it was um, serenity. And I was like, oh my God, that is what I need. I need yeah. serenity. Like rather than rushing around like a blue ass fly, because a lot of it is also to do with like finances because you know, where COVID stopped us working for so long. Now we're all expected to pay everything again. Yeah. And, you know, all our mortgage breaks have stopped and it's like, yeah. right, get your ass back to the... So like, I thought, no, I need serenity, like to be able to achieve that to-do list, but yeah. not in that militant way, in a way yeah. that's like calm, collected, yeah. still being organized, but not evil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you relate um, to that? I can't 100%. And like last week, I think we spoke a few times last week. And I was like, hi. Yes, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. so tired. Um, <clears throat> just because I've been working all the time. And all of the things for me were the first things to go. So, you know, going yeah. to the gym, going for a walk, doing something with my essential oils, doing something that I like, doing something creative. That all was the first thing to get out the window and my work yeah. was piling up and up and up and I never say no. So I always sort of push myself past the point. Yeah. Um, and I got to the realisation last week because I, I started to get a cold and started to get run down. Yes. And I was starting work at eight in the morning, not getting home till 9.30. So dinners, we, my husband and I went eating together and it was just like, oh, no, why are no you doing this? Life. You're just yeah. living to work and yeah. not enjoying life yeah. um so I decided to the scary decision to go down to four days a week oh you've and I was like I right I'm gonna have one day an extra day off I think in you the week to be prime minister <laughs> <laughs> that's the right way to go Jen that's the right way to go and it's scary though it's scary when you think it is when you're looking at it from a finance it is. point of yes. view yes but then if exactly. you take the money side out of it and think of your well-being that's exactly what I needed to do but even still even the money side like in it like you can work smarter and harder you can for shorter periods yeah you know so I do think it's not just about sacrificing money because we all need to pay the bills like that's just a reality isn't it yeah but we what, do. but what I wanted to talk about specifically was about <clears throat> how we can get into that achieving head mode and yeah. actually, it's really important not to be in your head yeah. because that's how you disconnect from everything. You disconnect from your feelings. You disconnect from nature. You disconnect from source, from connection with other people. And you're too busy. Like your mind is filled with all the things you're going to do. So I used to like run a narrative in my head and be like, right, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to okay. go here. And then I'm going to go there. And actually, I'm not noticing what a gorgeous day it is. As I'm driving, yeah. I'm not noticing all the beautiful <coughs> trees. Like you know, I'm not smelling my coffee when I'm making it or whatever. It's You're just not like, in bang, the bang, moment. Bang. Thank you. That's it. In the yeah. moment. Yes. And I'm here for another 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just had a full moon in Pisces and full moon in Pisces is all about getting out of your head and Ooh. into your intuition. 
Ooh. and into your spirit, like into your feels. Oh, so this, this is, exactly is actually the perfect time to get out of that head mode if you can. It's not about not achieving your to-do list, but it's about being kind to yourself and doing what you did, cutting down that to-do list so that it's realistic, yeah. Yeah. so that you are actually able to achieve it with, with joy. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's also about um, f- find it, like, finding a way to do while receiving yeah. and not being numb. Yeah. So like maybe pe- making time for those things that you need yeah. to do, but also making time for you. Yeah. Yeah. So it is about having that you time and to do list balance, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And, and Dana said that she's been painting to help with stress, which is amazing. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Good yes. to get creative, creative and let all of the emotions flow into a painting. You or don't have just, to be good at painting. Or it doesn't even have to be emotions. You can just be concentrating and switching off and that really yeah. helps you calm right down. It's, and I, I looked into a spa oh, nice. for three hours. It was just three hours of my yeah. day, but it changed my life <laughs> <laughs> in that moment. Like it was it was incredible. It's like I had beamed myself up, Scotty, and gone <laughs> to like the Bahamas just for three hours. It was like a oh, holiday nice. for three hours because the sun was shining. I was on the sun loungers, went in the hot tub, jacuzzi, sun, oh, yeah, it sun room. lovely. It was amazing, and it's just what I needed. And normally, yeah. I wouldn't do that because I was so busy and stressed. But I was like, yeah. no, because I'm so busy and stressed, I need to do this. I need to do this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then it's amazing how you've got this renewed energy to then smash it because it's then coming from that place of joy of being full up exactly you, you can't give from an empty cup i was just gonna say that put the words out my mouth Soz. <laughs> but this full moon in pisces also just wanted to report back that it could be making you feel more emotional mm-hmm. more sensitive more anxious yeah but at the same time, you could have heightened intuition. Your dreams could be really vivid. And it's the perfect time to do your spiritual well-being and healing practice. Nice. Well, yeah. this is the month for me. Yeah, because you've just um, qualified in facial reflexology, haven't you? I have. So are yes. you going to be suggesting something for our viewers to do that will Ooh. help them? Um, or was it an oil you were going to suggest? It was an oil today. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was an oil. So um, frankincense is a really, really good oil. So you can um, put it into a carrier oil. Yeah. So like coconut oil, sweet almond oil, witch hazel, anything like that. Um, try and get fractionated because that means the saturated fat's taken out of it so it doesn't stain clothes. Oh, right. Um, That's really good to know. So in a 10 ml bottle, just put 10 drops. Yeah. And you can rub it onto your wrist, yeah, onto in the, the back of your head, yeah, on the neck, right. Here. This is for stress relief, guys. I yeah. think. is that what yeah. it is? Yeah, the stress, anxiety, overwhelm. Brilliant frankincense yeah. oil. Or if you don't want to put it on the skin, you can drop it neat into a diffuser, and oh, let it diffuse, and, just, and then it will go lush. in through the olfactory system and yeah. hit the brain. You've hey. got someone saying hello to you. Hello. Fast and How you free. Doing? So yeah, that's that's awesome. Having that and you could just do that before you go to bed, couldn't you? Yeah, you can. Right. Yeah. And have that as your Or when um, you wake up. That can also, be your ritual. One thing I wanted to mention was that I found myself in when I was in this stressful state, I found myself um my reaction was to do nesting. Nesting. You know, nesting, yeah. Like so I thought you nesting. said nothing. Oh, <laughs> nesting can be like um, cleaning, organizing, also like decorating your house, like make, feathering your nest, making it like feel yeah. comfy. And I think that's also to do with the seasons because autumn's coming and I know I'm going to want to be comfortable at home and not go out so much. I'm loving being able to wear these flannel jumpers. I am enjoying your cardigan very much. It's very yeah. sexy. Thank you very I much. like it. I know it, it, it's nice to have a. I'm I'm known for ha- loving blankets. Yeah, <laughs> I just love a blanket. <laughs> just, so I just miss a cat. I need a cat and a blanket, oh. and then I'm good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but yeah, um, it is all about. It, I I agree. I've been nesting as well, and also I find if my house is 
not necessarily untidy, but if there's a drawer that needs sorting and yes. I haven't done it and I'm just leaving it, I yes. feel like my mind is a mess. Yes, exactly. And I feel like I need to purge and get yes. everything straight. And then I'm like, oh, it feels Ooh. clearer in my mind. I was just going to say that. And I think that's what I've been doing. And also I looked it up and it's actually a reaction to stress. It can be a response to stress there when you're go. stressed. And if you feel out of control. Yes. If you go and organize something organize. and sort it all out, it helps yeah. you feel in control. Yeah. And it just helps to calm your nerves. Yeah, it's actually and it really doesn't have relieving. to be a big purge. It can even be your sock drawer. Yeah, it's you know small finding like that. all those single socks and getting yeah. those sorted. Exactly, something or going simple. through your jewelry and just throwing out the stuff you haven't worn for years and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, in terms of um, little tips, because I know I haven't done a face reflexology tip, but if you're feeling stressed and your emotions are a little bit wired. Yes. Find the centre of your hand. Make a ball like you're catching, make a cup like you're catching a ball. Yeah. And the little indent here. Yeah. Is your solar plexus. And that's mm. your seat of emotions. Yes. So go gently with it because it is very tender and very yeah. reactive. Mm. But you can just gently, in circular motions, get into that solar plexus. And if it feels like it's painful, just take wider circular motion yeah and then go back into it and you'll find that it will start to ease amazing do that thanks, on both hands Jen. Okay. this is awesome lots of people are saying thank you for your knowledge and thank Aww. you for sharing the notes so that's lovely you're so welcome. happy guys that you're benefiting from this chat because that's why we're doing it isn't it we just want to like bring a bit of joy and help everyone stay centered and balanced and yeah remembering the good stuff like exactly just, stay in your feels and feel good yeah yeah but it's so easy to just get caught on that train as you say it and is. just go with it yeah and it's bad we don't like that no yeah like oh awesome i think are yeah. we i think it's time up isn't it it pretty much is it's 20 past 10 oh my gosh guys <laughs> go so that, quickly is there anything else that you guys wanted us to cover by the way just let us know um we're gonna come back aren't we every week we're gonna yeah. be here monday morning Sorry. And... <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna start a youtube channel as well aren't we and we're gonna yeah. post it on our youtube channel sister sessions we've yeah. gone back to the old name because we we never stopped calling it sister sessions did we and the no. other name it just didn't it, stick so no. we've gone back <laughs> yeah it's gone back to sister sessions yes yeah. Dana, we're doing it every week again. <laughs> um, and yeah, we realised that uh, 10 o'clock, uh, we're going to do it from 9.15, no, aren't we, nine, every quarter morning? Nine. Quarter past yeah. nine. Um, and we realised that not everyone's going to be available at 9.15 no. on a Monday morning. So if you can't join us live, check out our YouTube channel or our Instagram because we'll be posting it there. But if you yeah. subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get notified once we've uploaded it. Exactly. We'll put the details on our stories or something when we set up the YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah, because we haven't set it up yet. And we're going to yeah. um, put it on our IGTV as well, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yeah! Yay! Oh my gosh, it was so good to come back. Yay! Woo -woo! And I'm going to do, do a guided meditation about getting out of your head and into your body. Ooh, and I'll do that amazing. from my White Lotus Reiki account. And again, like once I've done it, I'll post the links amazing what yeah oh well enjoy oh, your sunshine so much better having spoken to you this morning I already know, me too thanks sis. Aww, thanks love and thank you everyone for watching yay so lush hope you enjoyed oh we've got all these lovely little hearts going i know thanks, guys. so cute mm. thank you oh okay well we will see you next week yeah see you next week if i don't see it's you not through the week Tuesday. i'll see you through the window <laughs> yeah <laughs> it'd just be so awkward wouldn't it <laughs> maybe we should move it to tuesday no, just no. for that <laughs> <laughs> just for that purpose <laughs> oh, oh dear, i don't need right, encouraging guys. i'm already dirty enough <laughs> <laughs> oh that's oh, so nice Dana. Love. we made your day Yay. oh thank you Lots right. of love, guys. We'll Lots see you love. next week. See you next 15. week. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye sis. Bye, sis. <laughs>